Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and yes, I am back to making videos regularly. My indefinite leave to remain was approved, so I can now stay in the United Kingdom without needing a visa, and I can travel back and forth freely. So a friend of mine linked an article a couple days ago that I read, and I really thought this was fascinating, and I thought I would share it with all of you. It's something that a doctor has termed metabolic derangement. Now, this is a medical doctor who takes an interest in personal training and fitness. And so he's really interested in these things. And he was looking at a study, and he linked a study done on 10 women. And for those who are wondering, there are a lot of studies like this. A lot of very active people who are either trying to lose weight or people who are very active in the fitness world have developed very poor relationships with food. And this is one of the reasons I talk about these eating disorders and these obsessions people get and these body image disorders is because it distorts your perception of reality and oftentimes it distorts your perception of caloric intake. So I'm going to link that article down below for you guys and he links the study itself that he's discussing and this is just one of many guys but this one was a really interesting one and I'm going to link you guys a chart right here I want you to look at it closely. Those were the test subjects, and what you need to keep in mind with this study, all of these women had been taught how to keep a proper food diary, they had been taught how to weigh and measure their food out, and they knew that their food was going to be double checked. So they knew that even if they lied or misreported, that it would be caught by the nutritionists who were doing the study. And one of the women actually reported eating an average of 1,100 calories a day when she was actually eating 3,300. And the other thing you'll note with all of these women is that look how high their TDEEs are. Other than the last one, the only one who was accurately reporting actually has a low, slow metabolism. You'll notice that their metabolic rates are higher than some of the adult males who are involved in the fitness world report bulking on, which I think also highlights how bad males' perception of what they're eating actually is. There's a whole lot of you guys who are bulking on 4,000 calories who are telling other people that you're bulking on 2,500 calories. And the truth is you probably have a bad relationship with your food, you're mismeasuring because I can assure you that if you're a moderately lean 185 pound male who has gained 15 to 20 pounds of muscle mass because he's already gone through his new gains in the first year over what the general populace has and you're bulking on 2,500 calories, you either have a medical condition and you need to go get your thyroid checked and for five dollars a month worth of drugs they can fix that up and you'll be right back up to burning 3500 or 4000 calories a day like you should be or you're misreporting what you're eating due to possibly an eating disorder or at least a poor relationship with your food which can in the long term develop into an eating disorder and you actually think you're eating 2500 calories on your bulk and you're sure you're measuring it right but in reality you might be eating 3,500. And that's the thing that we've noticed with people is that once you develop that poor relationship with your food, which is very, very common with people dieting, and it's even more common with physique competitors of any type, that people tend to misreport what they're eating even when they're convinced they weigh it out. And this is something that any of you who are personal trainers or coaches, you have to deal with with your clients is that you see this all the time. And this is one of the reasons when you see people talking about, well, I've sped my client's metabolism back up and now they're losing weight on way more food. No, 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 They're just reporting their food more accurately. And it's because you've given them a diet that's more satiating to them by allowing them to load a lot more carbs back in. And accordingly, they're probably accurately measuring it a little better and they may be eating less calories again now. It's a very real possibility because we only have research showing that about the most that you can change metabolism through extreme dieting is about 15 to 18%. And it returns to normal very, very fast. So for someone who has a maintenance calories of 2,500, that's only a few hundred calories. You're not going to drop them from 2,500 to 1,500 calories maintenance just through excessive dieting. And we have plenty of long-term studies on this sort of stuff on putting people on really and truly thousand calorie diets and seeing how much their metabolism goes down while, while doing large amounts of activity. And it doesn't go down 50% or 40% or anything crazy like that. It doesn't. 
but read this article for anyone who's interested in this it really gives a good explanation of what's really going on with people here and that the biggest issue when we see these large changes in metabolic rate or people with these truly slow metabolisms a very large portion of the time they're under reporting it isn't a true metabolic issue and if it is a true metabolic issue no amount of reverse dieting is going to fix it you need medication for that and it can be easily fixed with a prescription all right, guys, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time. But let me give you guys a bicep shot before I go.